SoFi Money is a cash management account that earns you 1.8% in interest and comes with no fees. But is it really a good cash management account to have or are you better off with some other bank? Stay tuned to this video and let's talk about the SoFi Money account. Now guys, I've mentioned SoFi Money before in a lot of my videos, so it's only right that I do a proper review of this account today. Now, just before we get into it here, if you're new here or you're seeing me for the very first time, my name is Ian, and on this channel, I talk about ways to make money, save money, invest money, and all things related to personal finance. So if these are topics that interest you, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to this channel. And when you do so, turn on the notifications so you can get updated on when I post new videos here. And guys, I post a new video here every single day on YouTube, or at least once per day. Now also, drop me a comment down below with what you think about my review today of the SoFi Money hybrid or cash account. So SoFi, which is headed in San Francisco, California, is in the business of loans, investments, insurance, mortgages, and now cash management accounts. So SoFi has a wide range of offerings to simplify savings, borrowing, and investing. They'll even allow you to invest in crypto and at this point in time, in addition to stocks and ETFs. But today we're only looking at the saving and spending parts of SoFi Money. So SoFi Money is often referred to as a hybrid account. And when I say hybrid, I don't mean it has anything to do with the Toyota Prius, right? So what does that really mean? It means it's a mix of a checking account and a savings account at the same time, offering most of the benefits of both in one single account. So with that said, the SoFi Money Cash Management account offers you interest that you would likely get on a savings account, but with the checking account features such as a debit card, hence the term hybrid. So this would be the same as having a checking account and a savings account separately at a bank, but instead you would have to switch funds in between the accounts to get the benefits from each. With SoFi Money, it's much simpler and the one single account does it all in terms of checking account benefits and savings account benefits. Now, if you'd like to try out SoFi Money, then there's a link down below in the description. I'm leaving it for you guys. And if you sign up with this link, you'll also get a cash bonus off between $25 to $50, depending on what the offer is right now. Now, SoFi Money also offers a fee-less account, so there's no minimum balance required and no account maintenance fees or fees for using the service of your account. The only fees you may face is a replacement debit card rush fee or a stop payment fee. Now, a big deal for this account is that it offers no ATM fees. But I know what you're thinking. That isn't such a big deal since many other debit cards offer the same, but SoFi Money offers no foreign transaction fees. Think about that. So if you like to travel, then say goodbye to fees if you're using the SoFi Money debit card. Now, you can add money from other accounts, checks, and direct deposits, and you can also request your own checks from this account. So the pros of this account includes a higher than average interest rate of 1.8%, which was actually higher a few weeks ago until rates started to drop. Now, as always, keep in mind that these interest rates are subject to change at any time and are not set in stone so as to speak. Now, 1.8% isn't the best rate out there either, as you can find savings accounts by themselves that offer 2% or even more. But remember, you're getting a hybrid here. It's not a normal account. Now, another perk here is there's no charge for ATMs. Now, most times the banks will tell you that they don't charge for you to use your ATM card or your card at the ATM machine, which is true, but even though the bank doesn't charge, you will still have to pay a fee because the owner or the operator of that ATM charges a fee for anyone using it, and this is if you're using an ATM that's out of network. Now, the good thing with SoFi Money is that after you're charged that ATM fee, SoFi will reimburse you. As long as the ATM you used bears the Visa Plus or I think it's MasterCard, they switched to MasterCard. So as long as it has that logo on it, you will be reimbursed for the fees charge. Now, this is a really good feature in my opinion. Now, foreign transactions are fee-less as we mentioned before. So you can travel wherever and use your card to pay for services and you won't be charged any foreign transaction fees. Now, the only fee you may come across is a foreign exchange fee of 1% which is charged by MasterCard and that fee is just for converting from US dollars to whatever currency you will be withdrawing. 
Now, the 1% foreign exchange fee is not valid for reimbursement, so just be mindful of that. Now, even though a lot of people no longer use checks, or at least not as often as in the past, if you ever need some checks, then you can get them for free here. You don't have to pay for checks anymore. There are still a lot of banks that will only give you samples of maybe three or four checks and then require you to pay for any more that you may need. With SoFi Money, you have access to checks for free and you can order them from the app anytime you need to do so. Now, you can deposit checks via the mobile app and you can link other bank accounts and either add or draw funds from your SoFi Money account. This account can also be accessed and managed from an app on your phone, so it's great for on the go. Now, from the app, you can use any of the other SoFi services. You can freeze and unfreeze your debit card, you can request a replacement card, and you can even request a check from the app for free, of course. Now, your statements are also available online and accessible to you at any time if you need to set up direct deposit, and you can actually fill out the details on the app and have the form emailed or printed and just take it to your employer. After signing up for this account, I realized that the convenience of this account is really great. And now for probably the most important feature. So SoFi isn't a bank per se, they're just a brokerage, and so you may wonder if they have FDIC insurance. Truth is, by themselves, they don't. But because of this, they spread your money amongst their partner banks, which are all FDIC insured. So even if you do have more than $250,000, your protection will be maximized as your funds are spread across a couple accounts. Now, those are all the pros or perks of the SoFi Money account. Now, let's look at the cons or drawbacks of this account now. And guys, I always give you the pros and cons because I'm not biased here. Now, the first drawback is that SoFi is completely online. There are no branches anywhere that you can go to. Again, this may not be a drawback for many uh, of us since it's 2020, but if you're interested in finding a bank that has physical locations, then this wouldn't be the best option for you. Now, the second drawback of the SoFi Money account is that they don't have 24-7 customer support via phone available. Now, this is really important, and I think that for a financial institution that wants to do banking, they should have customer support right around the clock. Now, even here, I often bash apps that do this and don't have customer support. The only reason I give SoFi Money a pass and actually use them is because you can have access to their customer support, but only between the hours of 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. on the weekdays and 4 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekends. So if you're comfortable with the gap during the nights, then it may work out. But if not, and you feel the need to have support right around the clock, then that's something that you want to take into consideration. Now, I could look past this because I think that having customer support during the days is enough for me. Now, another drawback may be the debit card. So far, there's only one design and some people have been complaining about not liking it and saying it doesn't feel real or isn't as durable as other credit or debit cards. Now, you'd probably have to be the judge of that now. Now, SoFi Money used a Visa before and they've recently switched to MasterCard, so they do have a new card, uh, but it feels just the same to me. Now, finally, there's no overdraft protection provided on this account. So if you need overdraft protection or if it's a feature that you use, then you wouldn't be able to get that with this account. That covers the downsides of the SoFi Money account. If you think that the SoFi Money account would be great for you and you want to sign up, you can use the link down below in the description. And as a sign up bonus, you'll receive, I think, $25, $50, or $75 after your first deposit of over $100. Now, that is a referral link which you don't have to use. But if you want an additional uh, or you want some additional cash, use it. And I will also get an additional or an additional matching bonus for referring you. Now guys, I hope this video was very helpful and I was able to provide some value to you guys. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and also click the notification icon so you can get updated on when I post new videos here. And I post a video here on YouTube at least once per day. Now in addition to this, be sure to also share this video anywhere you think it may be able to reach more people and help someone out as well. Now, if you're a new viewer or new subscriber here on the channel, be sure to check out some of my other videos on high yield savings accounts, checking accounts, investments, credit cards, debit cards, and of course, ways that you can use to make money. Also guys, I left more links down below in the description to free stuff, free cashback offers, free stocks, and just a bunch of free stuff. So be sure to check the links down in the description for all kinds of free stuff. 
Now, once again, thanks for tuning into the channel. All the best with your banking and investments. And until tomorrow, adios.